Tradition! Chicago, in America. Chicago, America? We are going to New York, America. Hmm. We'll be neighbors. In the heat of the night. I think I have to have a great passion for the idea behind the film, which maybe makes a film more important than just a piece of entertainment. Just killed yourself a white man, just about the most important white man we got around here, and picked yourself up a couple of hundred dollars. I earned that money 10 hours a day, seven days a week. Colored can't earn that kind of money, boy. Hell, that's more than I make in a month. Now, where did you earn it? Philadelphia. Mississippi? Pennsylvania. Now, just what do you do up there in little old Pennsylvania, earn that kind of money? I'm a police officer. Listen to me. Just once in my life, I'm gonna hold my temper. I'm telling you that you're gonna stay here. You're gonna stay here if I have to go inside and call your chief of police and have him remind you of what he told you to do. But I don't think I have to do that, you see? No, because you're so damn smart. You're smarter than any white man. You're just gonna stay here and show us all. You got such a big head that you could never live with yourself unless you could put us all to shame. You wanna know something, Virgil? I don't think that you could let an opportunity like that pass by. Norman called me and said, I've read your script. It is probably the single finest piece of writing I've ever read in my life. I'm going to shoot it the way it is, word for word. What an opener. Oh, well, that was just the beginning of six months of rewriting. Uh -huh. under attack by Russian. It's all over. It's, it's all over. We haven't got a chance. Not a chance. Big boats. Yes. Well, Motor well, power well, boats. All different kinds of boats. Yes. I serve the Russian. Uh-huh. A nice little boy there, sir. What would the Russians be doing on the United States of America Island? With so many animosities and hatreds between these two countries, it is too funny an idea, is it not? <laughs> no, we... We are, of course, Norwegians. Khrushchev was banging a shoe at the United Nations. The Cold War was at its peak, and here I was making a comedy out of all this. For God's sake, why is it we can't learn to live together? You're right, Norman. is not going to get that man today. No. Because I'm going to get him. My client, the Honorable Henry T. Fleming, should go right to fucking jail. The son of a bitch is guilty. That man is guilty. a slime. He is a slime. If he's allowed to go free, then something really wrong is going on. Mr. Here. Kirkland, you are out of order. You're out of order. You're out of order. The whole trial is out of order. Haven't you ever seen a colored officer before? No, sir. Have you, sir? Few people realize that the U.S. Army, as an institution, was segregated during World War II. Did you know the sergeant well? We're taking up from them white boys. Yes, you do. And if it wasn't for you southern niggas, white folks wouldn't think we was all fools. Well, where are you from? England? Will you marry me? Yes, Johnny. You love them, Loretta? No. Good. When you love them, they drive you crazy. Oh. 
Films are the literature of this generation. That's why motion pictures are important. What sins have you to confess? Twice I took the name of the Lord in vain. Once I slept with the brother of my fiance, and once I, I bounced a check at the liquor store. But that was really an accident. But what was that second thing you said, Loretta? You mean the one about once I slept with the brother of my fiance? That's a pretty big sin. I know. I can't do that. Why not? I'm in love with you. Snap out of it! Lesbra, short for Lazarus, he who is risen from the dead. Reuben. Genesis chapter 29, verse 32. Behold a son. You put those two together, Lesbra, and you have behold a son who is risen from the dead. That's no accident. He put me in prison. Love's gonna bust me out. Recipient, Mr. Norman Jewison. Well, Irving. You're one heavy dude. I'll tell you that. This is, uh, you want to hold him? Sure. He's about 20 pounds. There's a lot of people to thank, of course. But Irving once said that brevity is a great virtue. So I accept this great honor tonight in the names of all those people who have contributed to my work, my life's work. Forty years ago, I sat at William Wyler's feet and tried to learn how to make movies. And Willie Wyler was a god to me, and he won this award. And I think that's what is so meaningful to me, to join all those filmmakers that have gone before. I would like to thank my immediate loved ones, my family, Every actor, writer, editor, cinematographer, production designer, costume designer, sound man, and editor I've ever worked with. All those crews in Europe and Canada and the United States. And my one real regret about winning this prize is that, you know, it's not like the Nobel or the Pulitzer. I mean, the Thalberg Award comes with no money attached. So <laughs> I, uh, if it did, if it did, I would share it with the Canadian Film Center and the AFI, where the next generation of filmmakers are preparing to entertain the world in the new millennium. And my parting thought to all those young filmmakers is this, just find some good stories. Never mind the gross, the top 10, bottom 10, what's the rating, what's the demographics, just, You know something, the biggest grossing picture is not necessarily the best picture. I want to tell you something. So just tell stories that move us to laughter and tears and perhaps reveal a little truth about ourselves. And as for myself, I hope to see you again next year. <laughs> <laughs>